With the new iPhone mirroring app in macOS Sequoia, we're now able to view and operate our iPhone directly from the display of our Mac. iPhone mirroring is a Mac app that we can see here in my Applications folder, and I have it down in the dock. Launch it for the first time, and we get an intro panel that lets us know what we can do with iPhone mirroring, such as utilizing iPhone apps, viewing notifications that would otherwise only appear on our iPhone, and we will even be able to move files between the Mac and iPhone by drag and drop. Click Continue, and I'll need to unlock my iPhone. And then we have this option to allow notifications from my iPhone to appear here on the Mac. I'll allow this, and next I need to unlock the iPhone mirroring app with my Mac password. I currently have my iPhone unlocked and the display is on, so my Mac thinks it's in use. If I then lock the iPhone, the display will appear over on the Mac. As I bring my pointer over the iPhone display, a two-finger swipe on the trackpad will let me move between home screens single click on an app to launch it. We're able to enter text on the iPhone using the Mac keyboard. There are a few options for getting back to the home screen. From up in the view menu we can simply select home screen here or use the shortcut command 1. Notice that we have shortcuts for the app switcher and spotlight. We can also make the iPhone display larger or smaller. Hover over the top edge of the iPhone display and a toolbar appears. In the upper right we have home screen and app switcher buttons. In the upper left are our normal close and minimize buttons. Now let's see how an iPhone notification will appear on our Mac while iPhone mirroring is active. I currently have the iPhone mirroring window down in my dock. Here in Notification Center on the Mac, we have a Threads notification. Notice the icon here, letting me know that this is an iPhone notification. Click on it and the iPhone mirroring app opens up into the Threads app where I could then respond to this mention. Finally, we have a settings panel for the iPhone mirroring app. Here we can switch from needing to enter our Mac password every time to unlock iPhone mirroring. Switch to automatic and as long as the Mac is unlocked, iPhone mirroring will be as well. If you're having issues connecting iPhone mirroring, or you get a new iPhone, resetting iPhone access may be necessary.